Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to position the camera and match its field of view to the camera in a picture. Even if you do not know the field of view already. If you do not use this method, then you have to manually place camera, and hence errors will be present then. Ok so first of all subscribe to this channel for tutorials, and also like this video. Ok so here we go. Press M to bring the material editor. And then set your background picture onto a material. Make sure to set this as environment map. Now press A to bring this window. And drag that bitmap and set as instance. Ok, now go to the render settings, and set the output resolution. And same ratio to the image. That's it. And now enable that background in the viewport. Ok so now you have to insert a camera. Make sure to insert a free camera type, the others will not work, just roughly place it. Ok now set view to the camera. And now just roughly move and position the camera, so that the grid just looks aligned with the picture. You may skip the step, but doing it could be better. Ok now it's time for perspective matching, this 3D camera will match the field of view and orientation of the real camera. So click that and then select that perspective matching button. Press that and these 6 lines will be presented in the view. These lines represent different axis of the scene. You have to move them and align with the background respective axis. Align the red, green and blue lines with the respective axis in the background. So I will start with the Z axis. So just move it, and align it with that corner of the gate. That's it. Similarly you have to do for the other Z axis. Position and far away from the first one, for better results. And that's it. Now I am positioning the x-axis lines. So I am placing them on the visible x-axis of the background. Moving the line as a whole does not affect the matching, but moving the endpoints separately does affect. Similar process. Ok and now it's time for the y-axis. Place the lines on the edges that are straight enough. Curved and irregular edges will give wrong results. That edge is not right. That place looks good. Ok and now place the other one. So, that's it. Now you can move the line as a whole, to compare it with other edges. And to see that they fit there also. Now hide these lines and it's done. Now make sure to not rotate or change properties of this camera. For that go to there. and lock its rotation parameters, so it will not rotate even if you rotate it. Locking the position and scale is not necessary. Because you can change its position and scale before inserting 3D objects. Late you cannot. And you can see I am changing the position, to center the grid at position where I want it. And now insert objects with freedom. The grid of the scene is similar to the road and background. So that's it. Thanks for watching. For more tutorial notifications to subscribe and press that bell. 
See you in next video.